If you're looking for the best miter saw here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the 10th position of our list, we have DeWalt 12-inch Sliding Compound Miter Saw, DWS 709. A miter saw on a budget? Does that really exist? It does, and it's another great saw from DeWalt called the DeWalt DWS 709 Compound Miter Saw. Naturally, you can't expect to get all the same features and power from a budget saw as you would a top-of-the-line saw. The price difference can be as much as a few hundred dollars, and that kind of cost difference goes a long way toward upgrades and features. You're going to sacrifice certain features such as the double bevel and sliding arm, which are features that do drive the price up. But, you're still getting a 15-amp motor and a 12-inch blade capacity. The simple design of this saw will definitely get the job done, what you should expect from a budget saw is quality and durability. The DeWalt DW715 provides both of the aforementioned attributes and will certainly satisfy the amateur DIYer or beginner handyman's needs. Moving on to the next at number 9 with Bosch CM10 GD 15 Amp 10 Inch Dual Bevel Glide Miter Saw. Bosch has a reputation not only for product excellence, but innovation as well and the Bosch CM10 GD Dual Bevel Glide Miter Saw is a fine example of both. The most obvious and noticeable feature is the axial glide system. As opposed to using rails, which must slide back and forth to allow the motor housing and blade to extend, Bosch has created this ingenious design which uses a hinged arm instead of rails. This still allows the saw to make wide cuts, up to 12 inches, but requires almost no additional space. Not only that, but the design allows the back of the saw to sit nearly flush with a wall or the back of a workbench. Couple a feature-rich design with a powerhouse motor and then build it with professional quality, and it becomes clear why Bosch is allowed to charge a premium price for their saws. While this miter saw has overwhelmingly positive reviews from the majority of users, it's impossible to ignore a host of experienced carpenters who detail a complaint, with photo evidence, that the axial glide system constantly falls out of square and is unable to cut straight. While any saw will run into occasional factory defects that are anomalies, the CM10GD seems to be somewhat plagued by this issue, and it does not appear to have been corrected as of yet. Even among those who gave it good reviews it was often mentioned the saw was not dead on. If you're spending big bucks on a saw, you might expect it to cut perfectly square. The number 8 position is held by Skill 3820-0212 Compound Miter Saw with Laser. Skill, the company who invented the skill saw, provides a very nice 12-inch saw with a 15-amp motor at a really reasonable price. It should be noted that this saw uses blades that take a 1-inch arbor which gives more stability to the blade, whereas the other saws we looked at take a 5-8 of an inch version. Skill has added a few extra, uncommon features such as integral table extension supports, which are nice to have, and a workpiece clamp to hold the molding in place for accurate cuts. It also has a laser for the cut line for individuals who are worried about their cutting accuracy. Next at number 7 we have Makita 12 Compound Miter Saw. As usual, Makita produces a top-notch product. This 12-inch, 15-amp saw has all the features you'd expect in a compound miter saw, although it's only a single bevel. That means that it just bevels to the left, not to the right, and they've also put 9 miter stops on it, almost as many as the DeWalt. The pivoting fence allows the saw to support larger materials, meaning you can easily cut 5 and a half inch cover molding on it. The control handle is a D handle, a bit rare on miter saws, but that's actually much easier to grasp and reduces operator fatigue. The motor even has an electric brake for safety and longer life. The number 6 position is held by Bosch Dual Bevel Slide Miter Saw. Bosch's saw comes with a nice set of features, most of which have been added to make the saw easier to work with. All the controls are up front and the handle is adjustable for four different positions, and I believe this makes this saw the easiest to work with in this category. 
Bosch has also made the table extensions integral to the saw, giving a total width of 40 inches to the table. The fence is also sliding, allowing you to extend it to the side when necessary. There's also a built-in length stop for those times when you have to make repetitive cuts. The detent system on this saw is unique as well, being a wedge and slot rather than a typical ball detent. That will make a difference over the life of the saw, as it will help maintain better accuracy. There's also an override for the detent as well, for those times when you need to set up a cut that's just a little off. Also included is a built-in and electric brake, which is especially nice for keeping your fingers safe during repetitive cutting. Finally, this saw has an arbor-mounted laser, making it easier to get your cuts exactly where you want them. The number 5 position is dominated by Milwaukee 12-inch dual bevel sliding compound miter saw. Cutting trim, baseboards, siding, and other panels requires a dual bevel for clean cuts on either end of the piece. Since baseboards and other trim are typically long pieces of wood, a sliding dual bevel blade is the best choice if you'll be taking on such a project. The Milwaukee 12-inch dual bevel sliding saw comes with many handy features in addition to the dual bevel blade to make cutting trim, baseboards, and similar items quick and painless. The carbide blade is 12 inches in diameter for wider cuts. When even more width is required, the blade moves back and forth on the sliding arm. With a dual bevel cutter capable of up to 48 degree angles in either direction, this blade is also a perfect choice for people wanting more drastic bevels in their wood cuts. The 15 amp motor is one of the most powerful drivers on the market, capable of up to 3.3 horsepower to chew through denser materials. Moving on to the next at number 4 with Zona Olsen Saw Miter Box. If you build dollhouses, models, picture frames, or other crafts that require detailed work on very small pieces, you probably don't need a large, powered miter saw. Instead, you'll find a miter box, such as the one from Olsen Saw, to be highly effective for your needs and your budget. Basically, a miter box is a metal box this one is aluminum with slots for positioning a small handsaw at just the right angle for making accurate miter cuts. The box has three 0.14-inch slots, one each for 45, 60, and 90-degree angled cuts. You can cut materials up to 2 inches in width and 7 eighths inches in depth. You'll also get a wooden-handled fine kerf universal saw with a 6.5-inch, 42 teeth per inch blade. The saw easily cuts through balsa and other soft woods, plastic, copper, and brass, leaving behind smooth edges without any ragged spots requiring further sanding. The Olsen Saw Miter Box is the perfect addition to any crafter's toolkit, or as a useful tool if you want to cut a few pieces of wood or other materials to use as trim on furniture or around the house. The number 3 position is held by TacLife EMS 01A 10-inch compound sliding miter saw. Crosscuts, bevel cuts, miter cuts, working on boards as big as 13 inches across, slicing through wood, plastic, and metal, the TacLife 10-inch compound sliding miter saw does all of these things and more. This feature-packed saw comes with three 10-inch blades one with 48 teeth for multipurpose use and two with 40 teeth for cutting wood and plastic a laser guide for the utmost in accuracy, an extendable table for stability when cutting longer materials, an iron blade shield for safety, and a chip bag plus dust port to keep sawdust to a minimum. The saw has a 15-amp motor and two speeds, 4,500 RPM for speed, or 3,200 RPM for precision. You can adjust the bevel angle from 0 to 45 degrees, and the miter angle from minus 45 degrees to 45 degrees. This is a great saw if you are cutting wood for crown molding or baseboards, or make furniture with beveled or angled trim. Next at number 2 we have Matabo HPT C10 FCGS 10-inch compound miter saw. If you only expect to need a miter saw occasionally, or for one big project redoing flooring, making a piece of furniture, or cutting trim, there's no need to spend a lot of money on your miter saw. Instead, consider the Matabo HPT, that's the new name for Hitachi C10 FCGS 10-inch compound miter saw. While there's no sliding rails for cutting wider materials the maximum width is 5 and 21 30 seconds inches nor a laser for extra guidance, you do get a saw with a 15-amp motor, 
a no-load top speed of 5,000 RPM, a bevel range of 0 to 45 degrees to the left, and a miter range of 0 to 52 degrees to the left or right. That's pretty much all you need to tackle most DIY projects around your home or workshop. The miter saw includes a dust bag, 10-inch 24-tooth saw blade, and vice assembly. Finally the number one position is dominated by DeWalt DWS 779 12-inch sliding compound miter saw. If you need to cut larger boards, including 4x4s or lumber up to 14 inches wide precisely and quickly, you'll appreciate the size and power of the DeWalt 12-inch sliding compound miter saw. This versatile tool has sliding guide rails to allow for larger or longer materials with a special setup included in the instruction manual, you can even crosscut boards up to 16 inches across, which is especially handy if you are building cabinets, a deck or fence, or preparing lumber for hardwood flooring. The saw has a 15-amp motor with a no-load speed of 3,800 RPM. It adjusts for miter cuts up to 60 degrees to the right and 50 degrees to the left, and bevel cuts from 48 degrees to the right or left. And you won't need to worry about excessive sawdust, the highly efficient dust collection system captures over 75% of dust, although you still need to wear protective eyewear as with any power saw. That's all for today. We upload product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for the upcoming video notification.